So half a year after my previous video, I finally bought a second second-hand lava lamp. At the price of 10 euro, this lamp costed me five times as much as the previous one, but it was also in much better condition. From beautiful clean wax to perfectly clear liquid, the only problems with this lamp were some stubborn bits of wax that were stuck to the gas and completely refused to move, even after I had run the lamp multiple times. Since wax is very similar to oil, and oil can be cleaned off with soap, I thought that maybe the wax would also respond to soap, and decided to just give it a try. To remove the bottle cap, I used a small screwdriver to bend up the edge a little bit, which worked pretty well and kept the cap more or less intact. I then squeezed 10 grams of my everyday dish soap into a glass, added 30 grams water to make it dissolve easier, and stirred the mixture thoroughly. Then I put the lamp back on the base and let it heat up to operating temperature. When it was flowing normally, I took off the cap again and got the soap solution ready. I had no idea how much I would need, so I randomly started with 1 ml. After the intense reaction to the newly added cold liquid settled down, I gave it some more time to make sure everything was well mixed. However, after 20 minutes the stuck wax still refused to move, so I decided to add 2 ml more soap solution. At this point the pipette got suddenly blocked by a tiny chunk of solidified wax, and I didn't notice it in time and caused a giant burst of soap solution. This led to a ton of tiny wax bubbles floating around, but I had seen similar things before and was pretty confident they would settle back down during cool off. Anyway, with this amount of soap, after 20 more minutes of waiting, I could definitely tell that the lava flow had changed, but the stuck wax still didn't move at all. I gave it one last shot, this time adding 3 ml more soap solution. This made the lava very runny and columny, which makes sense to me since lowering the surface tension of oil-like liquids is precisely what soap is supposed to do. However, despite that strongly visible effect, the stuck wax still didn't even flinch. At this point I gave up on the soap and just quote unquote blew the wax off the bottle walls with the pipette. This wasn't very elegant and left small amounts of residue on the gas, but it got the job done. I let the bottle cool off, and after the tiny bubbles had settled down as expected, I crammed the cap back on with a pair of pliers, then turned the lamp on again to have a final look at the flow before and after the changes. Seeing the footage side by side made the differences very clear. While the flow before had mostly spherically coherent bubbles, the flow after was either standing columns or dribbling drop-shaped bubbles. As far as I'm concerned, the new flow behavior might be somewhat frustrating to watch, but I also find it fascinating in its own way and I can't really say I hate it. Anyway, thanks for watching, if you liked this video please give me a thumbs up, if you want to see more lava lamp and other stuff just subscribe and have a nice day.